What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Races Explained. I hope you guys have all had a great week. And today's topic is asked by a number of you guys and that's about those blue bumps on your back teeth called bite turbos. So let's go. So bike turbos come in a bunch of different colors and most people comment on them being blue but they come in either red, blue, tooth color, it, it doesn't really matter but the main purpose of them is to keep your teeth apart. So to put the braces in the ideal position, sometimes your upper teeth will be biting on your lower brackets and will break them off. So the purpose of bite turbos is to prevent your teeth from coming together so that the lower teeth can be aligned and your upper teeth can be aligned without them contacting each other and interfering. Now, not everybody needs bite turbos, but if you have, let's say, a really deep bite where your upper teeth overlap your lower teeth, that's one indication for having bite turbos. This is temporary. We're gonna remove them later on in treatment, but what we need to do early on is to basically keep your teeth apart. Once your upper and lower teeth have been lined up and your orthodontist doesn't think that you need bite turbos anymore, they can remove them and allow for your teeth to come together in their natural position. If you notice that these bite turbos have broken off, please give your orthodontist a call so that you can schedule an appointment to have them repaired. If you have broken brackets, this is one of the reasons why you have an increased treatment time and your braces will be on for longer than necessary. So be sure to let your orthodontist know if these bite turbos broke off. The bite turbos will either go on the tongue side of your front teeth right here or on the chewing surface of your back teeth. It might be annoying at first because you can't close down all the way and the teeth that are in contact early might be a little bit more sore for a while because they're the only teeth that are actually touching when you're biting, but this pain will go away. Remember, these are temporary so they're not going to be there the whole time. So let's take a look at how bite turbos are placed on your back teeth. So for sake of discussion, let's say this patient has a deep bite and we want to put bite turbos to help open up the bite like this. We can place bite turbos on the back molars on both sides. We can prepare the surface using the materials necessary and we usually put it on the cusp which is the bump of your tooth. Next we will dispense it using a material like this. Don't worry this is not a shot. All it is is a way of dispensing the bite turbo material. And shape it using a brush. We'll do this on both sides and then cure it using a blue light that you shouldn't look at. On the video screen it's okay, but in the dental office make sure to not look at this bright blue light. With this on, you will now not be able to bite down all the way and not break off the lower brackets. And this is how they're placed on your front teeth. Occasionally, your orthodontist might put the bite turbos on the tongue side of your front teeth. It's a very similar process. We'll prepare the surface and dispense some of the bite turbo material. Make sure that it's, we make sure that it's put on properly. And again, cure it with that blue light. For some reason, this looks pink on the videos. And again, you'll see a similar thing that your teeth can't come down all the way. So that's pretty much all there are to bite turbos. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week on Races Explained. For now, Dr. Greg, 